They're not getting my Millennium Key, that's for sure. Dan's back. I should probably go tell him about the fact I'm in this Chaos Tournament with him. Is that Ryan's voice I can hear? He wasn't there yesterday. Hello? Dan? Hello? Why, why is my door opening? Oh! Hi, uh... Hi, um... Hey, uh, you, you okay? Uh, well, you just moved through my door, but yeah. Uh, fine. Uh, yeah, I've got some new powers. Anyway, um, that Chaos Tournament you said? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you didn't tell me it had Neurotoxin involved. Uh, I mean, it was on the letter. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was when you got no. kidnapped and taken there. Of course. Exactly, and then they hit me over the head and knocked me out to take me to some weird dueling arena in a cell, which is airtight with neurotoxin gas that could possibly leak out whenever I lose life points. Uh, possibly is incorrect. Definitely is more the right word to use. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what happens when we duel each other? Well, you have to hope you win. Yeah, but I don't want to kill you. It's not going to kill anyone. Um, no, I mean paralyzed, but you know, it's pretty much, it kills you because you don't have a life left when you're permanently paralyzed. Uh, I mean, true, but I don't know, we might not even make it that far. Well, on the off chance we do, we should probably get used to each other's decks. I mean, if we didn't take one of us down, we should give them one hell of a show. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's running it. I, I'm still, still looking into that. And I may or may not have a way to get us out of the sticky situation if we do end up facing each other. And how would that? Well, you know how the Shadow Duelists were going after your Millennium item? Yes. I too recently acquired a Millennium item and now they're coming after me. Oh, uh, um, of course. I've got a Millennium Fang. It seems that everyone these days just has a Millennium item. I know, right? But I don't really so know what this thing does yet, but it might be able to help us out some way. Your Millennium item saved you once, right? Yeah. There may be a problem. No. My Millennium item seems to negate others' activation. Well, I'm screwed. Because I don't really know what mine does yet. What if it could save us somehow? That's, I mean, that's a lot riding on something you don't know how to use. No, but I'm trying. I'm trying to find out what it does. Hmm. I mean, it was so weird. The other day, I was just transported to... Inside my Millennium Fang. That thing? Yeah, this thing. I know, right? It must have shrunk, like, to minus size. Um... Anyway. The guy who gave it me this is now dead, and his spirit was in there, and I was possessed by this number card that I've got in my deck. Right. I may know someone who can help find out what your Millennium Fan does. Really? Who? Have you heard of Yami Yugi? Wait, Yugi? As in the champion from all those years ago? Uh, the winner of the original Duelist Kingdom? No. The winner of the original Battle City? His spirit, the pharaoh of Egypt, thousands of years ago. Uh, uh, nope, never heard of him. Well, he's the one who gave me the key. He gave you that thing there? Yeah, so maybe he'll have some idea of what your Millennium item does. Do you know where to find him? No. He sort of you just have... pops up every now and then. And you have no idea at all where he could be? Uh, no. Right. So where should I start looking? Uh, outside. It's where I met him. Okay. I can go and look for him afterwards, but like I was saying before, we should probably get used to each other's decks if we're going to face each other, right? Yeah, that that actually sounds like a smart plan. So we're going to have to duel? 
Should we not duel in here with the holograms? The neighbors might get a bit freaked out. Yeah, I mean, like, if giant ass monsters come flying out of the walls in their faces. Uh, I mean, imagine, like, if they're watching a movie and then it looks like the thing on the TV comes out at them. Uh. Are they doing Ooh. construction work out here or something? No, what? Where? Uh, it's just a bunch of yellow lines. Uh, they must be markings. Anyway, let's. Uh... Oh, right. Yeah, should we go and do it in the stadium? More atmospheric? It has. It's getting in and it might be locked. Let's just do it like ah, Okay. It's fine. Alright. Alright, Dan. Now, no holding back, okay? Uh, okay. It's time to duel! Oh, that's a very aggressive intro, but okay. Let's duel. Uh, yes, I'll go first. I'll set Very a card well. face down and activate Pot of Greed. Hmm. I'll also activate Gem Knight Fusion. Seemed a bit unsure about that play you made there. Hmm. Uh, I'll bring out Gem Knight Prismora. Strong start, I must say. I'll also activate Obsidian's Effect from the Graveyard, which allows me to bring out Tourmaline and MI10. Perfect. I normal summon Master with Eyes of Blue. And I said one card face down and then my turn. I move. Master with Eyes of Blue. Okay. Hmm. I'll set a card face down. And. I'll activate Gem Knight Prismora's special effect. By discarding a Gem Knight card from my hand, I can destroy a face up card on the field. No! Ugh. Then, I'll attack directly. Fine. And end my turn. I draw. I normally summon the Ancient White Stone. Um. Okay. Next. I'll set this card face down. This card face down. And I'll end my turn. Right. Let's think about what we're going to do here. I'll flip a Roma Jar. A Roma Jar? What's that card do? You'll see. Then I'll activate Nightmare Wheel on Ancient White Stone. Uh, I reveal my trap card, Castle of Dragon Souls. You'll see what it does soon enough. Wait, that's what a Roma Jar does? Well, yeah. During each of our end phases, I gain 500 life points. Uh, I said one card face down. It's a doing a card attack. I'll end my turn. I've drawn someone like you before. Uh, <laughs> they increased their life points to 24,500. 24, but I still won. Well... That was a different person, wasn't it? My Nightmare Wheel, during each of your standby phases, not my standby phase, sorry, inflicts 500 life points as long as that card's on the field. So and I gain 500, phase... and you lose 500. Seems like a fair trade. Doesn't seem fair to me. I will end my turn. Of course you will. I draw. I set this card face down. Then I sacrifice the two monsters on the field to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Then Sangan's effect comes into play. Allow me to add a card from my deck to my hand. I think I'll choose Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Now, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Attack the Gem Knight Prismora. Hmm. But not before getting the power up. 
by Honest. Oh, wow. You're about to lose 3,000 life points. Okay. Then I'll end my turn. And during the end phase, my Ancient White Stone's effect comes into play, allowing me to bring forth a second Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can't even stand up to one. How will he stand up to two? Okay. I'll put a Roma Jar in defense. Set a card face down and activate Brilliant Fusion. Second to Brilliant Fusion. I'll bring out Lady Brilliant Diamond. But that's not the end of my move. I'll activate her special effect. Allow mm. me to discard a Gem Knight. So I'll pick Gem Knight Tourmaline to bring out one of my other Gem Knight fusions. That's stronger than my blue eyes! I'll also set a card face down. And I'll attack one of your blue eyes with Master Diamond. You activated my quick spell card. Forbidden Lance! Lowering the attack of your Gem Knight Master Diamond by 800 points. But just to add salt to the wound, I'm going to activate my Castle of Dragon Souls. By banishing my Ancient White Stone, I power up the blue eyes you just attacked. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Why didn't that work? Why didn't what work? Nothing. The Roma Jar. Get rid of it now. Now I normal summon Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Set this card face down. First of all, Blue Eyes is going to attack your Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. Getting rid of that off the field, then you can't bring out another one of your fusions. Now, Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack Aroma Jar and destroy it. Stop him gaining back his life points. What? He can't be destroyed by a battle. Fine. I'll end my turn. And I will gain another 500 life points. Hmm. What can I do here? I must say, you're a very talented duelist. <sighs> okay. Well, there isn't really much I can do. I'll summon Gem Armadillo and activate his special effect to bring out Gem Knight Garnet to my hand. Very well. Then I'll activate Absorb Fusion. What's that card do? It allows me to add a Gem Knight monster from my deck to my hand. So I'll bring out Gem Knight Obsidian. Then I'll fuse them together to bring out Gem Knight Citrine. Your Gem Knight Citrine still pales in comparison to my Blue Eyes White Dragon. That is very true. But I can still destroy Maiden with Eyes of Blue. I'm afraid not. You see, what? When he attacks, no spell or trap cards can be activated. Or monster effects. Uh, I said this card face down. It would appear there's only one thing I can do. I construct the overlay network. The XZ summon. Number 62. Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Huh. Then... I send my Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon to the Shadow Realm. Tell me, Dan, how close are you to the darkness? Hmm. By sending my number 62 to the Shadow Realm, I can bring forth from darkness itself number 95, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. 
Then, by activating number 95's special ability, I can send to the graveyard three dragon types with different names. Then, you have to send to the Shadow Realm three monsters with different names from your deck. Make your move. Uh. Okay. Huh. There we go. You thought Blue Eyes White Dragon was tough. Take a look at me now. Number 95. Destroy the Gem Knight Sigtrine. Hmm. Then during the main phase 2. I activate Return of the Dragon Lords. Bring back Valgran, the Great Divine Dragon. I will activate Magic Jammer. Fine. I'll end my turn. But not before activating my Ancient White Stone. Come forth, Blue Eyes White Dragon! Two hmm. unbelievably powerful monsters on my side of the field. Now I activate Arc Brave Dragon, bringing forth Valgran the Great Divine Dragon. Now I'll activate Valgran's special ability. By Banishing from the duel and sending it to the Shadow Realm, your Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond, Valgrand gains attack equal to its level times 100 points. Well, that was certainly an interesting move. I'll activate Treasure Cards of Safe Return. I activate Castle of Dragon Souls. I send to the Shadow Realm Arc Brave Dragon. To power up blue eyes until the end of this turn. I will activate trap stun. <sighs> and end my turn. Now I activate number 95 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon special ability. By sending to the graveyard blue eyes white dragon, it can make a second attack this turn. And now I chain. Silver's Cry to bring back the blue eyes that are sent to the grave. Hmm. Now I normal summon Ancient White Stone. Using my Ancient White Stone, I can tune it together with my Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Synchro Summon Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Then Ancient White Stone will be sent to the Shadow Realm. To return blue eyes to my hand. Next, I'll activate blue eyes spirit dragon special ability, sending that to the graveyard. Bring forth as you Asia eyes in its place. Now, number ninety-five, attack the gem armadillo. Let's see how long your aroma jar can withstand against a brutal assault from my most powerful creatures. Attack! Now, Felgrand, follow that up. Surely it can't withstand it three times. How long does that effect last for? Yeah, as long as it's on the field. Your move. <laughs> okay, I'll What are you so happy time. about? Then, I'll activate Absorb Fusion. What's that card do? Allows me to add a Gem Knight card from my deck to my hand. <coughs> Fine. Then I will end my turn. Gain another 500 life points. I activate Master with Eyes of Blue. Shuffling it back into the deck. Send this to the graveyard. Dispatch summon Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon back to the field. Hmm. 
may not be able to defeat your aroma jar, but I'm sure I can defeat that face down. Blue eyes, white dragon, attack with white lightning. Yeah. Two aroma jars. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, your move. Oh, and that's a thousand life points each turn now. I'll set a card. I'll activate Twin Twister. What are you going to destroy? Rescue Rabbit. I'll get rid of those two. Before you do, I'll activate my Castle of Dragon Souls. Banishing the Great Divine Dragon Felgrand to power up my blue eyes until the end of this turn. Okay. And did you not know about my Castle of Dragon Souls second special ability? Nope. When it's sent to the graveyard, I can return a banished monster back to the field. And I think I'm going to return Felgrand, the Great Divine Dragon. Okay. I... Well, just end my turn. Gain another thousand life points. Well, your treasure cards seem to be helping me a little bit as well. You're running low on cards. So I won't destroy that, but I will destroy something else. I'll send Blue Eyes White Dragon to the grave to destroy that face down and your brilliant fusion. Hmm. Then I'll activate the Ancient White Stone second special ability, returning Blue Eyes to my hand. Next. I'll tribute the Great Divine Dragon Felgrand and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon to summon my second Blue Eyes White Dragon. Then, without the powers of polymerization, I contact fuse them together. The fusion summon, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. See, the thing about this card is that anything that it doesn't destroy when it attacks, it removes it from the duel instead. Now, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, attack the Aroma Jar. I'll activate the gate attack. Ah. I end my turn. You gain another thousand life points. Oh, couldn't have drawn a better card. I'll activate Gem Knight Fusion to bring out. Who should we go for? Lady Brilliant Diamond. Ah. Not good. Now, how about we destroy your Twin Burst Dragon with Old Lady Brilliant Diamond? How about we don't destroy my Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon? Because I activate Mirror Force! Huh. Okay. Nearly over 9,000. Well, now I activate Asia Eyes Special Ability. Summoning my Blue Eyes White Dragon back into the game. Then set this card face down. Now, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, attack the Aroma Jar. Then activate your second Special Ability. To remove from the duel. Then attack again what? with your second head. The thing about two heads is that they can make two attacks. They did always say two heads were better than one. Now no more of those annoying cards. Huh. Number 95. Attack his life points directly. See, you can't stand up against the power of darkness, which is my number 95. Blue eyes white dragon. Attack with white lightning. Your move. Well... Crap. <laughs> I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. Very well. Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack with White Lightning! Thank you. What? Mirror Force. No! Uh, actually, Return of the Dragon Lords. Banishing yet, saving my dragons. Well, that's just not fair. 
Now, cower in fear at the sight of my number 95's final blow. Attack his life points directly! Wow, that was a good duel. Yeah, I thought I had you there for a second. I thought you did as well. Man, if I didn't bring out that number 95, I would have lost. It was that twin beast dragon. That's what got me. <laughs> well, Seto Kaiba did develop that card himself, so that's probably the reason why it's got such a BS effect. It's a bit selfish. Why make a card like that? Yeah, they should make a Gemini card like that. If only. <laughs> Ooh, but that Aroma Jar card, I've never seen you use that before. I mean, I was watching you during Battle City. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a new addition, along with a few others. Wait, you got some more cards? Go on, tell me, what are they, please? Uh, I, I kind of can't. Why not? I mean, we're supposed to be finding out about each other's decks. Go on, please. It's, it's more of a telling you would be a bad Thing. It put a, a marker on you. So if you told me you'd have to kill me, okay, I get it. Well, I wouldn't kill you, but someone else might. Oh, who? That Merrick guy who blew me out the building? Did you know, actually, he's the friendly one now. <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? He, he, you saw him. He blew me out of an eight-story building. Well, I mean, friendly may be too nice of a tomb. He's not bad anymore. I see him either dead man or either way. <sighs> anyway, it's getting late, the sun's setting. Over there. Yeah. So, we'd better get in. Oh, yeah. So, like... who, who have you faced during the Chaos Tournament so far, then? Just the, uh, uh, organizer. Really? I've already faced two guys. Yeah, it's very... Surprising. Yeah, they'll, they'll pick and choose when you duel. It's so... You can't prepare. Yeah. Oh, and last time we met, you told me to look out for those Shadow Duelist guys and get information, right? Yeah. They're not working for Marek. Oh, yeah, I fit with that. And they're not working for a guy who stole loads of super awesome, rare, and powerful cards, uh, who was used to be a friend of mine, and now he went kind of crazy because I beat him in a duel. Uh, and, yeah, they're not working for him either. His name's Art Phoenix, so if you meet him, they're not working for him. Okay. Yeah, so, oh yeah, he also gave me this really rare card called, well, I won a really rare card off one of his henchmen. It's called Stardust Dragon. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, it's the only it's the only one of its kind. It's called a signer card. So, the information you have is hmm? that they aren't working for these two people. Nope. <sighs> then who? And who is the only guy who went crazy and tried to steal people's souls that we know? Uh, I don't know. You went to Dolor's Kingdom, dude. You should know. Pegasus? Yeah, what if they're working for Pegasus? But Tiger's working with him. I've actually heard from that guy in a while. The last time I saw him was Battle City. Who? Tiger. Oh. Last time I saw him was in Battle City. Yeah, I think the same. Really don't think that we should think it's Pegasus and go and... Search for him? It's not Pegasus. Alright then. <sighs> anyway, thanks for the duel, man. It was good. Yeah. And if I've learned anything else, I'll let you know straight away. Okay. Uh, I think we should tell me what that super awesome card was, though. Who said it's just one? Dude, no! <sighs> that guy certainly knows a lot of stuff about these rare cards. Like those Roma jars, I've never even heard of them before. Anyway, I'm going to watch some TV and then I'm going to get some sleep. Well, that was eventful. I don't like how thin these walls are. I can still hear it. I didn't need to put soundproof enough or something. But yeah, that was a good deal.